What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another episode of JTAG and RGH Tutorials, the updated series. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Battlefield 4, particularly Battlefield 4 multiplayer for your JTAG and RGH, because obviously we've had uh, the XB Online cheat engine for Battlefield 4, but unfortunately Battlefield 4 is quite an awkward game to install and there's a lot, a lot of people who are having issues installing it. So anyway, the reason I'm starting this on the console side is because as you can see we're connected to Xbox Live and we need to transfer a lot of files over to our console. I don't want to use Neighborhood because it's very slow. I want to use FTP but to use FTP we need to go on Aurora or Freestyle Dash or something which will let, let us connect on FTP and obviously we need um, to go on Homebrew for that and you can't go on Homebrew while you're connected to Xbox Live because you're going to get um, banned a lot faster. So there is a really quick way to disable your stealth server without having to take the plugin off and put it back on or change your dash launch settings. All you have to do is just switch the console off with the power button. And then when you turn it back on, you want to press the power button and then about a second afterwards, press the eject button. So power button, then eject button. Okay, that was a couple of seconds, but that's what you want to do. Hit the power button, wait a couple seconds, then press the eject button and that will trigger Dash Launch to disable your Stealth Server plugin, which is a pretty cool feature. And because the Stealth Server plugin will be disabled, you will you won't be connecting to Xbox Live, so it will be safe to go on Aurora and go on your homebrew applications. And then when you want to go back on the Stealth Server, you just have to restart your console and it will reconnect to the Stealth Server. So really quick way of uh, switching between offline and online if you just use this little tactic. And as you can see, we are offline and we've got the normal Xbox Live guide, the normal Xbox guide, not the XBO guide. So you can see that the stealth server has been fully disabled. So all I'm going to do is hop onto XTX menu and then head over to Aurora so that I can connect through FTP. So we'll head to the hard drive, homebrew, and Aurora, aurora.xcx. Okay, so now we can move over to the computer, and I'll show you guys how to install Battlefield 4. Okay, so here we are on the computer. Now you're going to need Xbox Image Browser or 360MP and ISO to God, which will be linked in the description. Um, Nate, you can also, again, you can use Neighborhood if you want for transferring the files, but it will be a lot slower and you'll get not responding issues as well. Uh, so it's definitely better to use FTP if you can, um, or transfer over using an external hard drive or large USB stick. Okay, so head over to Google and search for uh, BF4 uh, Xbox 360 ISO download. Top one right here from downloadgamexbox.com will be fine. Um, personally, I would pick the mirror links because they are Google Drive links. And really all you want is a uh, disk one. So this is disk one and disk two. So if we go over here, you can see that's part for disk one. That's a part for disk two. The only one you need if you're just looking for multiplayer is disk one. You don't need to worry about disk two. Um, okay, so download all the parts. So you want to download all the parts for disk one and just right click on part one and extract here or extract to a folder. So I extracted them already to um, a BF4 folder here. So in here we've got our .iso file. And there's two things you're going to need to do here, which is why it's a bit different from installing on, uh, you know, just a, how you would normally install a game. First of all, if you don't install it as games on demand format, you run into lots of issues where you search for a multiplayer match and the, the game freezes. Um, or, you know, it just says insert the next, the other disc. Uh, you get issues like that. So we need to actually convert it to games on demand version. And I don't recommend doing this for any other game because it makes it hard to modify game files for other games when you've got it in games on demand format. But for Battlefield 4, this is the most stable way of getting the game running uh, properly and being able to get into multiplayer and use the game normally is to convert it to a games on demand version. But first, we need to extract the HD content pack from the .iso. Very simple. All you do is open up Xbox Image Browser, go to File, Open Image File, then locate your .iso file for the game. Open it up. 
and you'll know you have disk one because disk one contains a content folder that's how you know you have the right disk if it does not contain a content folder then you have downloaded the wrong iso you've downloaded disk two you're supposed to download disk one um, so all you need to do is right click on content and click extract and I'm just going to extract it to my bf4 directory Okay, so once it extracts you can go ahead and check so we've got content folder with all the zeros This is the title ID of the game and then you've got this folder with the two at the end And this is our HD content pack that needs to be installed on the console And um, now also before we install it to the console we will convert the ISO to God format so to do that you want to open up ISO to God, run the .exe. You need to make sure this .exe is in the same folder as well. It comes with ISO to God. So what you want to do is open this tool up and click Add ISO. Click Browse Image Location. And again, you just want to open up the disk1.iso. Then click Output Location. And for the Output Location, you want to put it just inside this content folder just in this folder here, 454109BA, the same place you basically put the um, the HD contents for the game as well. So we're going to put it to that same title ID folder. And then for the temporary location, hopefully if I untick save rebuilt ISO image, I might not need to add a temporary location. Let's see, add ISO. Uh, are you sure you want to discard? Uh, yes, okay. Oh, I still need to, okay, never mind. I still need to put in a temporary location. So we'll just select the Battlefield 4 directory as our temporary location and click Add ISO. Yes, and then go ahead and convert. And that will start converting the game into games on demand format, which is basically like the marketplace version of the game. This is how a game would look. Um, this is the kind of format you would find a game in if you downloaded it from the Xbox Live Marketplace rather than downloading it as an ISO. And I actually have videos on how to convert a game from a Marketplace version, a Games On Demand, back to an ISO version as well. Um, so I might link that video if I remember in the cards at the top right hand corner of the screen um, and maybe in the description as well. Okay, so here we go, it's at the last step now. There it is, finished. So four minutes, took a bit longer than I thought. But it's finished, so once it finishes you can close out of ISO to God. Um, so like I said, I put this incorrectly. So this folder here with 7 in the middle, we're just going to cut this folder and paste it in here next to the 2. This folder with the 2 at the end and then we can just get rid of this. So this is the structure. You want content, the folder with all the zeros, and then you want your title ID folder of the game. And then in there you want your HD content pack, which is in this folder. And of course your game is on demand version of disk one, which is in this folder. So that is the structure that you want right there. Now, all we have to do is copy this over to the uh, console now. So of course you can do it in neighborhood if you want, but that's going to be slow. Um, I would recommend using FileZilla if you can, because that will be, that'll be a bit faster. So we're going to go ahead and put in our IP address of our console um, and then Xbox FTP as the username. Xbox FTP is the password, port 21. Um, of course, that is the default password, username and password for Aurora FTP. For Freestyle Dash, it's just Xbox and Xbox for the password. And of course, if you've changed it to something custom, then you'll know what the username and password is. Okay, so we're gonna go into HDD1 and then content folder with all the zeros, so basically the same structure right here, content folder with all the zeros. So we go into the same place on our hard drive where all our title ID files are. Okay, so this is where all your title ID folders are, so this is where you want to put the Battlefield 4 one, so just copy this folder here, straight over, and just let it transfer all those files. It's going to take a while because it's an entire game, 8 gigabytes in games on demand format, plus um, an extra I don't know how big the HD content pack is, but it's probably at least a gigabyte, maybe larger. So you're going to have to wait for that to um, transfer across. Okay, so here we go. Final file here, just transferring, almost finished. And done. Okay, so let's just take a quick look. So we've got our two files here. There's our HD content. There's our game, games on demand version. Now you can't run the games on demand version from neighborhood or anything like that because there's no XEX file to launch. 
But if we head back over to the console and we head back to, now you can actually add it to Aurora, um, but that's not really what we're looking for right here because obviously we're wanting to get online, we're installing multiplayer, so if you just head back to the normal dashboard, you can actually just start games on demand versions from the My Games list in the normal dashboard. So nothing's showing up right now. Oh, there we go. Took a little while there for it to appear. So there it is right there, Battlefield 4 Disc 1. It doesn't say Battlefield 4, but if we reboot and we reconnect to Xbox Live, that should that image should change to Battlefield 4. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just restart and get back online here. Okay, so here we go. And that is how you do it. Really simple. Just turn the console off, turn it back on normally. Stealth server re-enables and we're back online. So really quick and useful way there just to, you know, switch between using homebrew offline and getting online. Um, so let's head to my games. And do, 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 there you go. Battlefield 4 image is loaded. So all we have to do is start the game now. And of course, um, if it's the first time launching, we'll get our title update. There it is. So, pretty small title update, but uh, don't be fooled. There's a massive multiplayer update that has to be done first before you can actually get onto multiplayer. Plus, when you initially start Battlefield 4, you need to make an Origin account, but all you have to do is enter a a password twice and then click confirm doesn't take long I think I've already done it on this account so it probably won't pop up for me okay so then you'll get game update available just say yes and that will be the multiplayer update which is pretty large it's over a gigabyte 1.45 gigs so confirm purchase it's free and it'll start downloading to your hard drive there we go Okay, so once the update finishes downloading, it'll ask you to reboot the console, or not the console, just the game, just reboot the game. Um, you should get a message box that pops up saying the update's been applied, please restart now or something like that. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to let me... Yeah, okay, I haven't done it yet, I need to restart. So we'll just go back to dashboard and relaunch the game. There we go. So there's our notification that the Battlefield 4 cheats have been loaded, let's be online. So we go to hard drive. So as soon as you get that notification, you know that your game is pretty much fully up to date. Because I don't think the cheats load unless you have like the latest title update and latest game update added to your um, added to the game. So let's head to multiplayer. We'll do server browser. There's all our games popping up here. So we'll just join this team deathmatch game on uh, Golmud Railway. Hopefully it's not... Yeah, so okay, it's running. So there you go, you can see it's working. Now if we tried to install this not games on demand version, it would probably crash right about now. When you try and go into a multiplayer match, it, it tends to just fatal crash the console, which is why you should install it in this way. Either that or it'll ask you to put in like the multiplayer disc, even though we're already running the multiplayer disc. So you get kind of these weird issues with this game if you don't install it as games on demand. Oh, okay, game just changed. Just want to get into a game here so we can see that it works. Okay, I think we're here. Yes, there we go. Ready up. Deploy, okay. Finally, so we can open the menu with up and right stick. And there we go, we have got everything working. So turn aimbot on. Turn all this stuff on. ESP. Let's go... 3D ESP. I'll turn all the ESPs on. Simple mods. Advanced mods. Uh, all players. Okay, so when you're not using unfair aimbot, um, you want to keep this visibility check on, but when you are using unfair aimbot, you want visibility check off in order for it to, uh, to be most effective. So there we go. As you can see, teleport to crosshair. All kinds of crazy, crazy stuff going on here. Oh, there we go. Got some kills there. What was that? Multi kill. Another guy there, dead. I mean, these cheats are ridiculous. I'm not gonna actually. I mean, I could. 
I get distracted and I start playing for way too long. Shooting through walls, <laughs> getting kills. It's ridiculous. Um, so, anyway, that is how you install Battlefield 4. And uh, don't forget that if you have Apparition Net Studio, um, that you can get a free one week trial of XB Online, which uh, will give you a chance to try out these cheats. And now, if you didn't know how to install Battlefield 4 before, well, now you know how to install Battlefield 4. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.